software for creating and displaying multimedia, HTML editors. So HTML editors include both standard and specialized text editor software, such as Notepad, that allow users to create websites by physically typing in hypertext markup language or HTML code. Specialized software, such as Notepad++, also includes tools that assist in the code writing process. So through the use of colors and auto inserting of certain codes, it makes the typing of HTML code a little bit easier. So firstly, as already just mentioned, the examples of software include Notepad and Notepad++. So these allow you to manually script the code in, and it's not just used for HTML. You can code a whole variety of uh, programming languages with it and then execute them in conjunction with another software. So I can't actually run my website in this text editor software. I need to then open the HTML file that I've created with these um, two scripting packages in a web browser in order for me to see the website running online. All I can see in these uh, packages, which you'd probably be familiar with, like especially Notepad, okay, is just code, text-based code. Can't see pictures, can't see anything else. So we need to understand that when using a HTML editor, it's pretty much raw scripting. So on that, what can we do with it? Firstly, we can create and edit HTML code and we can do this through the use of HTML tags. So all these lighter blue uh, codes written on screen within the triangular brackets, they're all HTML tags and they've all got open and closing tags. Open tags don't have a slash before them. Okay, they, they open up a certain command and then the slash tags, they are the closing tags and they end a tag so that that a uh, certain script stops at that point in the uh, code. So here you can see a variety of tags, HTML, which begins every HTML document, head, title, body, okay? They're all standard and pretty much used in all HTML web pages, okay? A lot of that is incorporated into the header, okay? And must be included for you to have a properly working and XHTML satisfactory website. Secondly, we can create hyperlinks and we can do this through internal anchors or links to external HTML web pages on the, the World Wide Web. And essentially these links are the backbone of how websites work. That's how they all connect to each other. Pages linking from one page to another. Okay, and here you can see uh, there's Google's uh, a hyperlink to Google. So I'd use a HTML tag. Okay, and that one would be a href, okay, which is a hyperlink reference. And then I'd reference something on screen, whether it be text or an image. Okay, and once clicked, I'd make it go to the URL of www.google.com. And that's how I'd create a link, okay, using HTML code to Google's website. Next, we can insert all types of media. So while in a text editor, I cannot see this in action, I've got to use a web browser such as Firefox or Chrome in order to see these things working. I can still script and code these elements into my actual web page. Okay, I'd have to reference some sort of media folder where these are stored and I can tell my web page where to reference these items in order for them to be displayed when on screen in a web browser. But I can ins um, insert all forms of text music, image, and video, okay, into my actual website. They can all be executed, all those forms of media. On the more technical side, and this would also be a more of a feature of specialized software, it contains tools that highlight features of HTML code with different colors. Now, this could distinguish between elements, attributes, and relationships. Elements are the actual codes themselves. And if you look at the little code down the bottom, you can see that's my HTML tags, the specific keywords. Then there are attributes, which are features of elements that we can manipulate. So in the example of font down there, you can see I can change the font face, the attribute of face, which is the, what the font will be. And you can see then the value that I've given it is Times New Roman. So that text will appear in Times New Roman. The other attribute I'm changing for font is size. Okay, and the sizes value, which is in green, is five. Okay, so it's at the size of fives. So values are numbers and keywords related to the size, type, and color of attributes. So it could be a word such as Times New Roman, which gives the font face the value of Times New Roman and displaying that on screen, or the number five, which gives the font size the size of a font five on screen. Finally, with these HTML editors, I don't just have to use HTML. I can also create an edit with supporting scripts. So these are scripts such as cascading style sheets, CSS, okay, hypertext precursor, okay, PHP, XML, and JavaScript. Okay, these can be used in conjunction with HTML documents to add further functionality to my web page. Okay, specifically cascading style sheets, they're used for styling multiple web pages. You create and script one style sheet and then you 
reference multiple pages to that style sheet and it will give every single page a consistent design okay based on what is written in that singular style sheet so an entire website made up of hundreds of pages may reference one style sheet or multiple css files okay for the styling of its specific website okay and getting that consistency in design and navigation and layout all mapped out there the other important one is PHP that allows us to create forms for our websites so that users can enter their data into text boxes, drop down boxes, okay, and other screen elements. And then upon clicking the enter button, okay, and submitting their form, that data will then be sent to a specific storage location of the web host, okay, and that data will be stored there. So it's a great way of gathering data from users all over the world. So I hope this video is giving you an understanding of HTML editors and how important they are, okay for the creation of websites and really they are bare bones and basic but scripting still gives us the most freedom to actually write and design our actual website okay we will contrast this with web authoring software in a later video uh, but i hope you understand the advantages of coding and the power of actually knowing your code because it's where you get the most hands-on and the most functionality and freedom in developing your website